Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and before we get to putting um, what we've learned together in the past few videos, uh, I wanted to mention some other sensors that we won't be covering because either we don't have them currently or uh, they're not particularly applicable to uh, FLL for uh, obvious reasons, but feel free to uh, look at them and explore different things that you can do with them uh, just for extra extra information or extracurricular activities so we uh, we don't currently have an infrared sensor so we won't be covering that basically uh, it can from my understanding it connect can connect to remotes and things uh, it uses different channels and aside from that I don't really know that much about it so we won't go through that. The other thing is we won't be going over the t temperature sensor. The uh, for FLL teams it's not really as applicable because you're not really going to be taking like the temperature of the field to determine different things. Um, it'd be a creative way, but probably not the most efficient. So we're not going to cover over that. Uh, the other thing that we're not going to do is the NXT sound sensor. Um, you'll notice that the EV3 kit doesn't actually have a sound sensor and that's why it's the NXT sound sensor. Uh, it's not really applicable for FLL teams because all the competitions are super loud and the NXT sound sensor works on uh, decibels so the louder you have to be a certain um, uh, loudness for the uh, sensor to activate and continue on or whatever uh, so Depend, you wouldn't want that to be influenced by the music or the uh, MC commentator um, to change how your program's running. So we're not going to go over that one. Uh, in the advanced section, however, though, we're going to be looking at the timer and the energy meter, which are the only other ones that we haven't covered yet. And... Uh, all their these the, uh, their applications with these three blocks, and uh, my favorite part actually for the advanced section that we'll get to is um, the math and variable blocks and logic blocks, which are really fun. And you'll see that you can do a whole bunch of cool things with them. But anyways, that's in videos to come. But the uh, next video will be about putting all the intermediate kind of blocks together and doing some cool things maybe. And that's it.